Hello everyone and welcome to SpatialPost.com. In this video, I will show you, how to digitize vector data in Google Earth. If you like to learn more about the Google Earth, you can check my other videos. Digitizing a geographic feature is one of the most common tasks that a GIS specialist has to do in his daily routine. Often a large amount of GIS time is spent in digitizing raster data to create vector data that we use in our GIS analysis. Google Earth has powerful digitizing and editing tools that we can use to create vector data, in this tutorial we will explore these tools. To start with, we will add some point feature. So go to the temporary places and right click, choose add and then click on folder, name the folder as point feature and click OK. Now we will add place marks. Move the place mark to correct location. Name the place marks as point feature 1. Latitude and longitude is already updated as per new place mark. From here you can change the label color and icon color. Press OK. Now we will add one more point feature. Move the place mark on building. Name it as point feature 2. From here we will change the color of icon, press OK. Add one more point feature. Change the color. And press OK. All your point features are stored in this folder. You can now save this folder as KML or KMZ file, right click and select save place as. And then your preferred file type to save this file. You can convert this KML or KMZ file into shape file and use in any GIS application. Now we will digitize line or polyline feature using Google Earth. Add folder and name it as line or polyline feature. Click CAD, and select path. Now we can create some linear feature with this tool. Name it as street 1. You can change the color and other attribute like measurements. Draw the feature using your mouse click. We have created one line feature.
Now we will create one more line feature with multiple vertex. Name the feature as Street 2. We have created the line feature with multiple vertex, click OK to save it. By using the same method we can draw all the streets. Right click the folder and save the file as KML file. Now we will add some polygon feature using Google Earth tools. Add one more folder as polygon feature. Go to add and select polygon. Name it as water feature. Change the color. You can also change the area color. I will choose as filed plus outlined. Draw this water features. You can change the opacity so that you can see the background image, change the opacity value as per your requirement. Measurement can also be checked from here. And click OK. Now we will trace this feature. We have created one polygon feature. You can create feature by using one more method that is tracing. Add polygon feature.
start the feature by clicking, hold your left mouse button and trace the feature, it will automatically create the feature, as you trace it. This method can be used to create large feature. Now we have created the water feature by using trace method, click OK. Save the polygon feature as KML file. You can create street feature by clicking on the raster image or by using the trace method. Both method can be used to digitize in Google Earth. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe SpatialPost.com YouTube channel and share this on social media. Visit SpatialPost.com for more details.